Maybe by some miracle I can live with like one HP. No, I'm definitely dead. And the reason I'm dead is because I low rolled and faced the the high roller and lost 40 HP in two fights. Facing the high roller and then losing 40 HP because of it is it's like one thing that they've already high rolled and they're guaranteed first. It's another thing that every time, every fight, there's just a one in three chance you lose 20 HP and there's nothing you knew about it. You can't go for a win streak. You can't play the game if you low roll them. It literally just comes down to like who faces the high rollers more often. On one hand, like props to the TFT devs for like coming up with new creative things like Cruel Pact. On the other hand, the amount of interactions like Cruel Pact Tiny Titans where someone auto wins the game and then it kind of like skews the entire rest of the game for the for 40 minutes. It's beyond frustrating. Makes me very mad. Box box, that's the game though. It's definitely not. I've played TFT for quite a while. I've, I've played a good amount of thousands of games of TFT. It's definitely not how the game goes. Like, it's one thing to face someone who hit upgrades. It's another thing to face someone who hits a dragon at level five plus an assassin spat. It is another thing to have two opponents in the same lobby, both hit a dragon at level five, both get assassin spat, and then face both of them in a row and lose 20 HP, right? Like I'm not capping, that's literally what happened two games ago. Literally two games ago on stage two, two people leveled up to five, they got assassin Shioyu and assassin Siphon. And every single game, every single round, you are just, it's just a gamble. Cause if you backline against them, you get assassinated. But if you back, if you frontline your carry and then you face a normal person, then you just take 20 damage because your carry dies for free. It's like, it's a very unwinnable situation where it's just like, pray that you don't, pray that you don't face them. Right? That's not how TFT is meant to be played. It's fine. Let's assume that no one's gonna get ridiculous top 1% RNG high rolls this game. Yeah, let's assume. And we can play normally. Things will go great. Okay. Let's run the calculations. Is this more likely to be a frontline bruiser kind of game with Siphon or Shioyu? Or is this more likely going to be a quirky game? This is more likely to be a quirky game. Then we should summon Frozen Heart. Hello, JMac. Thank you for 12 months. Hello, Racy. Nice to see you here. We may as well give him this. Maybe it's a glove diff. You have now reached 1200 gems today. Alright. I could either make 10 here. Or I can pre-level. And I'm not kidding, I'm probably gonna pre-level. You'd be foolish to not pre-level, knowing that you could win the game instantly at level five. That is just how this current meta is. Box box, skip the song please, it's so cringe. Anyone who wants to permaban that guy in chat, type pog. You must have never had a childhood. You must have never played Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, the lyrics are kind of goofy. This is definitely one of like the the best like video game ending songs I've, I've heard in my life. 
This is from Plants vs. Zombies before uh, the game got over monetized. Before the franchise became like a money grab. No high roll, Sag. Okay, this Aatrox is faker. Aatrox is like one of the best early game units ever. He's strong, he's tanky, he has healing, he can be played in any comp, no synergies. And then you can also randomly see what the shimmer skill item is. He's crazy. Okay, he healed one more time? That's a that's a game winning play from A Aatrox. Oh my god, I actually almost lost that. Sucks to sell Braum, but I need 20 gold. We're 5 streaking for sure. I should definitely protect Aatrox a little bit better. Level up and play Senna? No, I, I don't need to. I'm winning no matter what. I saw my three matchups. My victory is inevitable. These guys don't come anywhere close to having the damage needed to kill this Aatrox. Because Aatrox takes damage, gains mana, and turns it back into health, you have to have a certain amount of damage to beat me, and nobody has that yet. They will next stage, but by then, Aatrox will be dead. That's right. After all of his hard work, he's getting a permanent vacation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> We're selling him. You have now reached 600 D faces today. Play volley for shimmer. No, we don't. We don't have an Aatrox. Oh, volley. Wait. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm definitely leveling up and rolling. Okay, can we hit? I don't think I need to level. Alright, I don't think I need to roll. I have like a basically all upgraded board. I don't think it's worth it. Like, it's, it's kind of fucked because I have no items. So, if I face someone who has the right build, I'm gonna lose no matter what. So, I'm down to just make Econ. Yeah, I have no items, so winning is kinda out of my control now. Against someone with like a Gwinsu's and a good frontline, I will lose. What I can do. What I can do is go seven, like a psychopath. Oh yes, Tiny Titans, no, Stan United, yes. Yes! This is the way TF2 is meant to be played. Psycho level, it us! Yes. 
The answer is so simple. All you have to do is hit. Level up with two gold and just have faith. Just have faith that you're gonna hit Edos and Braum in one shot at level seven. It's so easy. Please kill my Braum. Please kill my Braum. Bro. <laughs> I didn't lose a single unit. All right, all right. Brom, from now on, you are being purposely inted. I'm going to literally int you. Oh my god. I'm going to literally, like, sack you on purpose. All right, these are front to backs. Die, Brom! <laughs> Die. God, I have zero damage. My damage is base damage plus 10 united. Box, box, switch the Jinx for a Corky. Shut the fuck up! Do I look like I have a Corky? What do you think I'm doing, man? That's the fourth time you've said that in my chat. Leave me alone. Let me play TFT. I can't just... Just spawn Corky out of my penis. Not yet. Ooh, Corky. Dude, that Corky just spawned right out of my penis. Alright, Corky. Once you get real items, I will sell Jinx for you. I need a, I need to get a remover for this cloak. Box, box, why don't you upgrade to Eat Us to Eat Us too? Oh, you're so right. How did I forget to do that? Let me go ahead and upgrade my Eat Us to Eat Us 2 for you really quick. Do you want to save the cloak for BT? Hell no! If I play correctly, this Corky is never taking damage. He doesn't need BT. I'm getting an item remover on Treasure Dragon. There's also a slightly different play you could do. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if it'll come down to it though. All right, the great thing about hitting Diamond Hands is that you are basically guaranteed good EDOS items. And you're almost guaranteed an EDOS too. Okay. Thank God. There's this is this is like standard TFT. Nobody high rolled an Assassin Dragon. I can actually like play the game front to back. Oh, thank goodness. The amount of times like I've lost 20 HP to Assassin Tax is just just too fucking high. But to this game, I can play standard and just have a stronger team and win. I love it. Oh shit. Come on, Jinx. Oh no. Damn. Up, My streak. I've been out front to backed. It's because I have zero damage items. Oh. Alright, so here, I'm really sorry about this, Lulu. You are being sacrificed to the gods. Wait. I should play Heimer for one round. Oh, I'm really sorry about this, Heimer. What is my purpose? You int. You int for me. Bro. I have zero bows or swords.
Bro! Okay. I want to make a gargoyle that's probably Sunfire. It's probably Sunfire. Okay, I'm gonna sack three and then level up and roll. Try to hit all my two stars. It also lines up nicely with my uh, Determined Investor. Also, it's fine if you have zero gold afterwards because you get two gold every round with Determined Investor with Diamond Hands. This guy's got two Sonas, two Corkies. One eat us. Okay, I can beat him. Oh, I'm actually down for party favors. Gain one gold for every six firecrackers launched by, launched by Revel Champions. Okay, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I should just level right now. Knowing that I'm going to have econ no matter what, let's just level. Need Sona and Corky. Sheesh. Mm. Okay, not gonna lie, that was kind of a just don't hit moment. Nico for talent. No, talent gives my whole team 10 damage, which I think actually is really good here because I just don't have damage right now. I am dis I'm like disgustingly lacking damage. I think talent giving 10 damage is really nice. What I do have is frontline. I'm actually really surprised I won this. All right, at least Quirky and Jinx generate me econ. Diamond hands will generate me 15 gold. So my econ's actually like pretty safe. Dude, I might actually have to play BT Corky. Oh no, I can play Hurricane Corky. Yeah, I can play Hurricane Corky. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of money, so may as well just roll down now. Kind of an unlucky roll down. Didn't hit any pairs. Okay, I need to get my diamond hands in the middle of the fight and put it on Edos. Actually, I'll put on Corky. Oh, I definitely should put on Edos. That's fine. They both kind of do the same thing. Oh. Nice, it blocks damage. Okay, farm me some more gold. I actually almost won. That's kind of nutty. Diamond hands pop off right there. Okay, bow is really good here. Oh, it's a one gold bow. Nice, maybe no one will want it. Diamond hands probably goes on EDOS. Oh, instantly gone. Tear. Oh. I don't know, both these are really useless. Maybe one makes a Gwyn Let's show our friend Actually, maybe it was Tear because it makes redemption. All right, let's hit. Come on, Corky. Corky Sona. Oh fuck, I didn't diamond hands my EDOS. Oh fuck. I spent too much time rolling. You have now reached 1300 gems today. Okay. 
So here's what we do. We hit one of Sona 2 or Corky 2 and then Nico the other. Yeah. Okay, now we can Nico the Sona once we hit. Why are you saving the duplicator? Because if you open your options... If you open your options, you are more likely to hit. What that means is, if I'm down to Nico, Corky, or Sona... If I Nico my Corky right now, then later on my rolls are really inefficient because I'm only... I'm only down to play Sona from that spot. If that makes sense. Here, you see this? I naturaled the Corky. So now I can just uh, Nico the Sona, and then I hit everything. My Corky's still really weak, but Diamond Hand's EDOS is kind of broken. Also, there was an argument to be made for just Nicoing the Corky and then going 9. That's possible too. Alright, I need to get a bow here. Oh. Oh, spat? Okay. You have now reached 300 Ayaya today. I don't know what this is going to turn into, but I need a bow really bad. No. Okay. This is a little gambly. But here's what we're gonna do. I definitely don't need this spat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reforge all these items. Then I have my own QSS to give to him. Oh, yeah, hang on. Hurricane. Oh, I'm so dizzy with these items, but I think we'll actually just play a BT, like, eh. No, I, I think it's actually Shojin. Yeah, I think Shojin's actually, like, not bad here. It makes him cast a shit ton, shoot out a bunch of elbow rockets, I get a lot of money, I go 9. Pog, he's rich. We go 9, baby. Okay, this fight was like a shroud diff, I didn't shroud, I was so dizzy. That, that took way- that was like such a complicated item situation. But it looks like we made it work. So I'm happy. Dude, I got four gold. Okay, ideally we let Braum be the shroud holder. Oh, hello Sweet Chaos. Oh, hello Coach. Okay, we can flex the diamond hands between Braum and Edos, whichever one's gonna take more damage. Alright, this Corgi is like super scuffed, but my my team is so high value, I think it works out anyway. Box box, I would do Shroud on Jinx because you don't care about her position. A really underrated part of Shroud. Oh, I still lose. I can never finish off the last unit. A really underrated part of Shroud is the fact that it gives a lot of tank stats. Shroud gives a 15% dodge chance, 20 armor. So if possible, you want to be on a tank. Box Box, I feel like Corky is such a weak unit compared to other four costs. I, uh, if you're looking at my Corky and you're thinking that, that is because <laughs> that is a hundred percent because. Uh, I have bad items. My Corky has one in, one damage item. 
This Corky like sucks. It's because uh, I, my item situation is so bad. I literally just like did a reforge and pray play. Man, I can never kill anyone, but I can always get them down to their last unit. But I don't have single target damage. Oh. What happened to your spat? I I got rid of it by reforging it. I didn't have any good spats available. Oh my god. Is there any chance? Am I contested? Okay. Put it on Deja. You want me to fucking sell my two-star EDOS and play Dit, you dumb fuck? Actually, it's fine. I'm actually gonna keep it on bench. It's gonna go on someone at nine. If you put it on Tristana, it makes Corky and and Sona stronger, but I think every other instance is going to be weaker. We can maybe find someone at 9 who can use it. Corky fires out so many rockets, I actually think it's worth it to invest in this. Revel Bard. Bard does zero damage, guys. Bard isn't a damage unit. Here's what I can do. I can put on Lulu and then rebuild her just so that I can get the ability for other people. Okay, my stand United value is off the charts. I have the standard Corky build. We go nine and then we just two-star everything. Maybe three-star, actually. I'm, I'm uncontested Corky with a, with a champion duplicator. And not to mention, I have great econ. What I don't have is like late game combat augments. I'm definitely lacking that. So I need to hit something like a Corky 3 or Sona 3 to win this game. <laughs> Revel Aushin, do you not understand that I would have to sell my unit for that? Like, you understand that, right? <laughs> You understand that if I want to play Revel Ocean, I have to sell my two-star EDOS with diamond hands. Please tell me you understand that. Yes, he would fire 20 rockets, it'd be very pog, and then I would instantly lose the game because he wouldn't even live long enough to cast. Hello, Few. Thank you for four months. No, I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put Revel Spell on a unit that's actually useful at level nine. There we go. Box box, wasn't it RFC? Yes, no. It is definitely RFC Shojin to let her continue to stay safe, get extra attack speed, and CC people more. Namzi, that's a dummy. Namzi hit the right person. Rom, that's a dummy. Holy econ. I'm gonna roll down to 40, see if I can hit Bard. Or Sona. Okay. Ha! 
You slot back into my shroud. Okay, I'm going to roll like after after this round because this guy is about to go nine, and then at that point he knows that I'm gonna go for Corky three. He's gonna hold all my all the Corkies. If I want to win this, I need to like lock in most of the Corkies right now. Hello, Jordy. Emily Wang said Bart two isn't better than Bart two. He's bigger. I like him when they're huge. I get like ten gold per round. You have now reached 900 the plus today. Is very up. I actually get like 10 gold per round. This is crazy. I have to hit something. This is this is the game to hit like a Sona 3. This guy's name is Hot Sexy Girls. Oh, Hot Sexy Crit. Cutscene! Alright, how can you grief me if I'm going for four different three stars? Thank you, Nana him. All right. So much money. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm done. You have now roll. reached 3,000 pogs today. All right, I was gonna Nico it. <laughs> he forfeited. I was gonna Nico it, but then we just naturaled it. Just that transformation, he instantly surrenders. Holy shit, dude! That guy like heard the theme song come in, and he's just like, "I, right, I'm out." I think this name says Watashi Wa Flush. Thanks for the sub, Watashi Wa Flush. Thanks for 19 months. All right, I'm going to go find a snack with two, maybe three C's. I'll be right back. Uh, except the Q for me.